song is 29 and nothing like finding out 20 minutes into the trip that your husband loves your computer glasses and really rocks them too. Especially in this light, they're fantastic. You want to give us a quick glimpse? <laughs> no. Yeah, a quick glimpse as I look at my right mirror. Don't you rock them people? Oh, do I get off there? No, I'm not. So this is a planned <laughs> side trip to the Gettysburg National Military Park and my alma mater, Gettysburg College. So we'll be spending the day up there. We decided to just do it in the RV without our tow behind us because we didn't need a car to do this trip. We're able to take the dogs with us and it gives us a longer day um, at the park. And something to, to check when you're traveling with pets or what did the park say as far as um, you know rules and regulations? And Gettysburg National Military Park is very dog friendly. Now, hopefully today being a Tuesday, there won't be a lot of people there with dogs. But it's hard to say as far as that goes. There you heard it. We'll report back from Gettysburg Battlefield. I ended up dropping Jules off closer to the entrance and I parked the RV temporarily in a lower parking lot. I waited with the dogs while she was inside the visitor center. She did a little bit of shopping and then came back with an audio tour. This is where the Gettysburg Address was given by Abraham Lincoln. So these are Civil War graves here which is the plain white tombstones. The city still uses the, the cemetery of Ridge right. today. Cemetery of Ridge is going to be the position of most of the Union Army on July 2nd, 1863. Right. Now, Seminary Ridge, again, where we're standing, is going to be the position occupied by about one-third of the Confederate Army of Northern Virginia. This would be A.P. Hill's Corps. As we already mentioned, Robert E. Lee didn't expect the battle to happen at Gettysburg, but by the end of the day on July 1st, 1863... He... It was a great experience doing the audio tour in the front of our RV. The height of the RV alone made it a wonderful vantage point. The downloadable MP3 audio tour was filled with lots of new and interesting facts about the battle. There are many details that I had not ever heard before. There was plenty of room to pull over and stop the RV just to check out the sights or get caught up with the tour. There were also several places suitable to stop and take the dogs out for quick walks. We both noticed how empty the battlefield was. There were not a lot of tourists as this was a Tuesday and it was before Labor Day weekend. Seemed like perfect timing just to have a lot of space all to ourselves. After the battlefield tour, it was time to get some lunch. Jules and I decided on the Spring House Tavern, which is in the basement of the historic Dobbin House restaurant.
Here we are in the Dobbin basement in historic Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. This is part of the Dobbins Tavern, which is a pre-Civil War tavern. It was a Revolutionary War building. It's been here for centuries, literally. So these are old places for the United States. A very nice romantic lunch spot. Our last stop in Gettysburg before returning back to Woodbine, Maryland to our Harvest Toast for the second night was Gettysburg College. It was great to get out and walk around, see some of the campus buildings, talk with a few students, visit the college bookstore, and share some memories with Jules. touring Gettysburg College thanks to my awesome husband and since the second we left until now this has been waiting for us <laughs> our time at Gettysburg had drawn to an end and it was time to return to Woodbine Maryland for the second evening with our harvest host we had an uneventful trip back Good evening, everybody. We had a great day at Gettysburg today, and we're back at our Harvest Host in Maryland, and just excited about tomorrow going up into Pennsylvania and seeing my family and Amish country, and we'll tell you more about that tomorrow. Just want to take a quick uh, segment on what to expect when you're out on the road, and we kind of expected this because we've heard other bloggers say it, but things are going to break. So first thing um, that probably we weren't, we weren't as prepared for as we should have been is Budget for breakage. Um, delay repairs until you get back if you can because your, your trusted mechanic is always home. But so far on this trip, we have lost our leveling jacks. We also ended up um, somehow losing pins out of our tow dolly. And luckily they weren't anything super expensive, but we went to Lowe's to purchase new pins for the undercarriage and for the safety lock. 
uh, I came up with workarounds for those. I'm a I'm a collector of things. Anytime we put something together, if there's spare parts, I keep them. If there's cables, I keep them. So in these boxes are just a, a whole store. Velcro, very important thing to have. Um, all kinds of cables, as you can see. There's phone cables. There are headphones for for sound. There's shoe goo, which is a great product to glue stuff together without putting a, a hard bond on it. So all kinds of things in these boxes. And so today we discovered that we lost our backup camera. We have wireless backup and side view and it didn't work this morning. We thought maybe it was wet, a little bit of rain. Well, it's not working. I've done a couple things to check it out and it is not getting fixed. So we travel with ring camera. Um, we take a, we have a mobile ring camera at home that we can move around different locations. This is our ring camera. This is non non paid endorsement for ring. But it works great because we watch the dogs when we're out of the RV, we set it up. But now what we're gonna do is this is gonna become our backup camera. And I've already rigged it with two zip ties, only two, to try to keep it simple. So it's already affixed to the adapter for this device. And we're gonna turn it off, go to the back window, set it up and see how it works and what it looks like. But this is gonna be our backup camera for the rest of the trip. Well, we're at the back of the coach and we have successfully installed the ring camera to the back window. This is a windshield mount for a cell phone and it is stiff. I just don't, can't even imagine this coming down. This is all very, very stiff. It is working and this is the picture that we get that we'll have up in the front of the coach. Actually better than what we had with our camera up on the roof. So we are good to go. We'll be extra safe and we've got backup. If something happens and our camera miraculously turns on, then we can tear this all down and we're back to normal. So there you go. One more hurdle jumped and hopefully uh, that'll be it for, for a while. And what about making sure to prepare for the, well, and the, other the thing, data? Yeah, we're, we're using Travelfy. This is a non-paid endorsement. Uh, we love Travelfy. It actually combines, I want to say AT&T, Verizon, and um, T-Mobile. It uses their towers. So you're always getting some combination out of those towers. And we've had very good coverage with it um, up the East Coast so far. We bought 25 gigs and started using it on last Friday. Today is Tuesday, and we found out that we were out of 25 gigs uh, about 20 minutes ago. So while That is with me working from the road. Right. Two TVs. Two TVs. Two phones. Yep. Um, a laptop. Laptop, lots of, lots of hooking yeah. in. But mainly, I think, TV use and your day of work. But anyway, Travelfy, they were fantastic. Jules called them, and within a few minutes, we got an upgrade to our plan. We have 75 more gigs now to use uh, until that runs out. Hopefully, that'll last us. If it doesn't, that's okay. For $40. Um, for $40 more. Deal. Yeah. yeah. So we are good to go. Uh, another problem realized and uh, fixed uh, for now. Uh, this is looking good. I'm delighted with how it turned out and looking forward to continuing on. So there's our journey.